Okay, so we're recording now. Um, so obviously we're going to add a script file because we're going to do some JavaScript stuff and we now want to add a body for our content. And the main thing is we want an unordered list. It's going to have an ID so we can grab it. Called products. Right, and we want to put stuff in here. Now, I want to have a function called, uh, I'll just call it run. Right, and I want to run alert. It just goes um, testing as soon as the program loads because essentially I want this page to load, load up all of our products. So in order to do that, we go on here, on load equals run function. So if we go here and then refresh, testing, okay, so that's worked. So now what I want to do is I want to grab this, and so I'm going to go var, because I'm going to be re-referring to this, I call this main, equals document dot get element by ID, and the ID is going to be products. Now, once I've got this one, I want to be able to um, have a list of things to be added. To. So add to UL. So the things I want to add to the UL is a list item. So I'm going to go var list equals um, uh, what do we do? Document dot append child. No, it's not append child. Add element. Not add element. Create element. Create element. And we create an element inside the speech marks. It's going to be a list item. Right, and then essentially we're doing the same thing a couple of times with a bunch of different stuff. So we have a list item, we can have a paragraph. We can obviously add an image, which I'm not going to bother with because um, I haven't got an image saved ready to go. So I'm just going to say buttons, I just don't want the name to conflict with button. And I might say heading for an H1. You get the idea. Right. So this is all great, but it won't really do anything yet. So if I go main dot uh, append child, and what I'm appending is this list item, which is list. Right. So if I test that, I should be at least adding a list item to here. Let's go, okay, and let's just refresh this. There's your list item that's been added. There's that full stop there. So I want to add things to the list item, which is a paragraph, a button, and a heading. Okay. So I'm going to go... Um, list dot append child. Error. List dot append child buttons. Oops. And then I want to append heading. Right. Now the issue is these things are going to be added, but are they going to? So if I do this, there's an empty button there. So if I look in here in the developers tools, elements there, got a list item. So there's that, we've added that list item. It's got a paragraph, a button, and a heading. So you can see those things are added, but they're empty. So we want to basically say, like this, well, I want to update them. So if I go, para dot inner html equals here is the here is text 
buttons dot inner HTML equals click me and then heading dot inner HTML equals touching up touching right. This obviously, if these were done from things, we would actually have a uh, an array of all of our information, like a database sheet, and we'd be grabbing information from there. All right. So now, if I've saved and we've done it, here's text. There's click me there. All right. So the click me's there. The click me doesn't have any functions. It doesn't have anything there. But this is how you add your stuff. Now, if I was wanting to do this more than once, okay, I can go. A for loop, put everything. And actually, do I want the for loop here? I want the for loop there. Because that's all set up, and then I'm just reusing them. Var i equals zero. Var is less than five. I plus plus. All right. And I'm going to say, click me there, plus 10 times i. So I can use that loop to have the amount click up, see if it works. So I should be able to do this. Oh, what's happened here? Console. No? Here's 40. Uh, right. Okay. So, right, so the problem was we can see it's worked to an extent because it's added the last one. So your first loop is obviously zero. So zero, you know, 10 times zero is that. Um, I could say 10 plus. There. That should then keep the minimum of 10. The issue is these have been created once and they're not being updated. So if I do this and that's in the loop and it keeps being added to the loop, we will get all of them in there, which is now concatenating the thing, but we can, we can edit that. But that gives you the idea of what we're after. So that is how we start to add our elements.